Hi everybody, this is our tutorial number 7 for learning how to pass SOLIDWORKS and SOLIDWORKS DSWA. So the part that we're gonna do this time is this part. Questions like this will come into the exam. So this is from a sample paper uh, PDF that you can download by clicking on the screen. Okay, <coughs> so we go and read the question. The question says you need the first thing you have to check is what is its unit. It is MMGS, so go to SolidWorks, Control N, choose your template, MMGS. <coughs> it's a bit slow. <laughs> Alright, so we got the template. Now we go back again here, look at the part. It has got three drawings into, into uh, one drawing in three different views so you can start from anywhere but it's better to start from the base and then move on so you can start from the base and okay so we will choose the top plane sketch it will be a rectangle centers base dimension A A is how much 205.19 205.19 and B is oh I'm sorry A is 66 you can correct it later on let's see uh, B is Double click here, make it sixty six. <coughs> A and B sixty six and sixty six. Okay, it's all black, it's all right. Press Q, check the thickness, it's gonna be four millimeter thick one thousand thickness one millimeter right click or double enter <coughs> and now you can see there are some chamfers on the corners of this base plate 45 degree this one two here and two on the tip of here so one is 45 and 10 so what you're gonna do is to click here, choose this one, it's already 10 millimeter and 45, choose this other one also and right click, it's done for you. There is not one more 16 and 45. So click here, chamfer, and press 16, choose this one as well, right click and it's done for you. Now the next part is to make these holes. There are four holes uh, through all and it's seven diameter. So first press here, sketch is seven and you don't need to dimension these ones because it's better to I think it's faster to select them all and say it close so later on if this would change the size all of them would change so it's good for the future also now this and this would be on top of each other on the same line this and this would be also on the same line this and this would be horizontal this <coughs> and this would be also horizontal and now we'll go back to the drawing this distance between these two are E 27 or there 
these guys can gather okay still not fully constrained the distance between these two is not given but it looks that it's symmetric so we need to make a construction line from here to here and then what you're gonna do is to choose this point this line and this point and the symmetry so now they are symmetry but still it's it's not fully defined because it's still blue because it's still moving <coughs> so it is 18 from left and 12 from 18 no, 12 from left and 8 from down and I think it was 8 or 18 8 8 from bottom now all black you can see it's fully defined press D right click to all right click so we are the holes now we're gonna make this part we make one of them and then we mirror the other one so this this is the face that we're gonna draw so but what is the distance from the middle it says 12 from both sides in the center it says it's six millimeters from the middle so we choose plane we choose the plane that is this one no on top not top not this one delete this selection it is the front plane and it should be six millimeters and right click okay so we are not in this plane which is here and we're gonna draw this face so click on it sketch on it make it like this so first we draw the circles and then we connect those lines. So the first circle oh yeah, let's see. Doesn't matter from where you start. The start circle completed it out. Ten, one ten here, one ten there. So there are two ten. One ten here and one ten here and then there is one 19 and then one 19 here and the inside is 8 okay so uh, now we can dimension the circles distance one is 37.5 from the bottom 37.5 and then 13 from this one is 13 and distance between these two are 16.5 and this is from the edge 39.5 39 5 and it's 19 from bottom and then how much from left 12 from left All our circles are fully defined. Now we have to go go and draw the lines around them. So this line first draw a line here from here to here and then go up by 32 and then go right straight till you coincide with this, double click and then 
from here it should be tangent and like this double click and then there is a from the center of this to to the line yeah like here yeah so <coughs> now you can see this is the only one which is not blue because these two should be in the same line this and this next let's see two ah no nah, two points let me show two points let's see so now it's fully defined everything looks fine this is tangent and coincidence okay it's tangent and coincidence and there are not enough information given on this drawing so the hour of that so now we're gonna extrude at 6 minus 20 it would be 8 divided by 2 it would be 4 millimeters press D choose this and it's already 4 millimeters there for you luckily and press so it's four millimeters it came ahead now expand this click on this press Q again how much is the the circles it is 22 minus 12 which is 10 divided by 2 which is 5 so this one and this one and this Meter, enter again. That's okay. So now, and this one is thirty six, thirty six minus twelve divided by two. Another way to do it, like if you don't want to calculate, because why doing calculate? you might do mistakes so you can do like like this 36 minus 12 how much it is 24 and divided by 2 so yeah <coughs> so we got this part as well let's see things look similar yeah things look similar now we have to go and do some fillets Four fillets, four sides, four. How many millimeters? Two. So choose this corner. Fillet. One millimeter. And here. That's it. Anything else? Four millimeter. Oh, I'm sorry. It's two millimeter. I thought it's looking rather big. Two. These are also two, this is also two, and this is also two. So here, 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 what else? <coughs> I don't see anything else, so it should be fine. Press OK. Since we made this blaze at the middle of the right plane, front plane, we can mirror it to the front plane. Mirror and expand this. All this that we create this, keep the control key and this. You can use this. This is the whole thing till here. And press OK. I did it for you. Now check the material. In the beginning, you check what unit system you use, and in the end, you check its materials. Cost, carbon, steel. Right click, edit, 
cos carbon steel cos carbon steel okay apply close check the mass it should be 235.99 235 so we got 237 it means we, we have got more we need more cost carbon steel check again the material cost carbon steel Thirty-seven. I have to check where we did the mistake. I did the mistake somewhere. This hole, for example, is this eight? Why it says 7.93? Let's check this. Oh, I I think I understood where, where is it. There is some more fillet as you can see around here and around here. So let's add those fillets. And it should be mentioned about this fillet somewhere. Four point five fillets, which I would not think that it would increase the mass that much. Now let's add this fillets first and see how much it would increase. Point five. Point five. And point five. Okay. Check the mass. 236.04 need a little bit more mass we are almost there oh we can see some fillets here as well oh eight two radius fillets all the corners all right i think we are very close so like this you can understand where you were wrong if the Rate is low, rate is high. So choose this corner like this two millimeters. This is two, two, four. What happened to this? Four, five, six, seven, and eight. Right click, okay. Now the rest should be correct. Two thirty six point zero two. Oh, we need more weight. <coughs> we still need more weight. For calculus, math, math. Where we could be wrong. change the things much we know the right answer at this time but we are not still accurate this so this was 8 so this is correct this is 10 8 and 10 and this is as well
or something here. Let's check the diameter of this. Stella said it should be alright. Check the distance between this and this. Plus 12. 36. Come on, let's. 12. Divided by 2 is to us, that's correct. <coughs> 25. There is a maybe here, I guess. As you can see, there is a fillet here. Let's try that. There's this two millimeters here and three here. When there is not enough information, they might do things. So it became 36.18. This is the right answer. And we are within one percent of the answer. So we can take this as our answer and it's, 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 it's correct the, th the thing is that there are not enough information given in here and these fillets don't actually change much of the weight and so I think this is it let me just check one thing this looks similar to that yes so <coughs> this should be the answer and we can go to the next question is a theory question basic modeling theory and drawing what is what is the type of drawing view is this it's obviously it is a line section as you can see it's not a straight line here it's a, a line section and in the next tutorial we would be doing this part, this assembly. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next tutorial.